several evangelical groups in this land, they said almost the same, that they have been threatened by the fanatics, the Khomeini Islamic group in this land. And uh, by telling them you have to close your mission work, you have to close your churches, you have to close your Bible schools. There are tangible reasons for concern. This cemetery at a monastic Christian order outside of Jerusalem was recently vandalized during a high point of the Palestinian uprising. Nuns at a nearby convent were victims of unprecedented purse snatches by local Muslim youth. Two Christian girls, casually dressed in skirt and jeans, were attacked with acid in Jerusalem's old city. Muslim gangs have singled out Christian youth with beatings. Calls for police help go unheeded because of an Arab police strike and Israeli non-intervention in domestic crime in the West Bank, leaving Christians feeling vulnerable to what observers see is a result of growing fundamental Islamic ideology in the occupied territories. The rise of Islamic uh, militancy in Palestine, in the West Bank, Gaza, and in Israel itself emerges from the success of the Iranian revolution and the fact that Khomeini uh, has remained in power. Dr. Rechis also credits a poor economic situation and Israeli occupation for pushing Palestinians towards religious ideology and inspiration. It's from these growing ranks Christians are feeling pressure, if not outright persecution. Christians are being accused of not participating in their share of violent anti-Israeli protests, as evidenced by a disproportionate number of Christian to Muslim casualties. They also suffer from Muslim animosity, directed toward Christian evangelicals in America who voice strong support for Israel. We are caught in the middle. They are fighting against us. They want to get rid of us. They want to hurt us. They want to threaten us because they cannot reach pastors and churches in the States. They can reach us here in this, in this country. We are the victims. With world opinion against Israeli occupation and calls for international peace talks, Christian Palestinians are concerned about religious pressures they may face if Palestine becomes a state under its own government. Islamic extremists might be dissatisfied with the character of the state, with the character of the regime, would feel that it was not in conformity with the principles of Islam as they understand them, and might try to change the character of the, of the state by overthrowing the government and taking power themselves. This Christian, living in the West Bank, views this possible scenario in light of past Christian experiences with Islamic extremists in the Arab world. And in future, I tell you, they will uh, practice what is uh, taught by Islam. Either you will become a Muslim, or you pay kind of compensation, or you will be killed. That's uh, uh, Muslim religion teaching. One of the three you have to choose. Definitely difficult choices for the Christian community to make and cause for concern within the minority caught between the Palestinian struggle and the threat of Islamic fundamentalism. These Christians are waiting to see if, like the Christian Lebanese experience, Palestinian unity and nationalism will fall victim to religious division and what consequences it may bring. From the occupied West Bank, I'm Larry Frisch. Since the story was made almost 20 years ago, Christians in the Palestinian controlled areas are being driven out of the cradle of Christianity. Bethlehem went from being 80% Christian in 1993 to only 13% today. Who is driving the Christians out and why? It certainly is not Israel, because as you just saw, Christians thrived as a protected group of people enjoying religious freedoms under the, quote, Israeli occupation. It seems that the occupation that Christians in the West need to be concerned with is the racist, bigoted, intolerant Palestinian Muslim occupation. They will uh, practice what is uh, taught by Islam. Either you will become a Muslim or you pay kind of compensation or you will be killed. That's 
against Muslim religion teaching. If you feel what you just watched was informative, I urge you to support our work financially. We are producing an updated documentary about the plight of the Palestinian Christians under the Palestinian Authority and how Israel is the protector of minorities and their religious freedoms in the Middle East. I urge you to help us stop the hatred propaganda machine well-oiled and financed by Muslim petrodollars so we can stop the lies in their tracks. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support.